We got our first word problem on the new SAT practice test. I'm scared. Jay walks at a speed of three miles per hour and runs at a speed of five miles per hour. He walks for W hours. Hmm, okay, you know what? My spider sense is telling me it's time for some underlining. He walks for three miles per hour and he walks for W hours, okay. And he's running at a speed of five miles per hour, but then he runs for R hours. And it comes out to a total of 14 miles. Which equation represents the situation? Well, let's see, total of 14. That means two things are probably gonna add together to get me 14. So I got my eye on these two answers. And then if I look at that first one, it's three times W. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. The three is measured in miles per hour. The W is, okay, let's see, what do they say here? W is the amount of hours. Okay, so I got hours, the other one was miles per hour. So if I just focus on the units right now, miles per hour times hour, that would cancel out the hour unit, leaving me with just miles. So I could say I have three W miles. Hmm. So that seems pretty good. If I try doing a similar analysis for B, I've got one over three times W. Well, if I analyze the units on that one, W was measured in hours. The three was measured in miles per hour. Okay, this is not exactly working out the way I want. In fact, my units, if all I focus on are the units, then it would be hours over miles per hour. Huh, so that would be like I'd have to keep change flip there and switch the bottom to hours over my, oh God, hours squared over miles. What would I use that for? That doesn't make any sense. But the other one was coming out to miles. So a certain amount of miles for the three W. Well, by a similar logic, the five R would also be measured in miles. So basically I would have some miles, add on some more miles, and what's the 14 measured in? Oh, that's right, miles. Unit analysis, sometimes called dimensional analysis if you wanna get tricky, but unit analysis can be super helpful when you're trying to figure out which one of those choices makes sense. All right, that's it, I'm out of here.